I'm about to start my vlogging journey again. I have a little copy. I actually got a gift card to get this for a meeting because this um, woman that I'm meeting with, about to do a Zoom call with, which I need to set up with right now. She um, was like, oh, I'm gonna send you a gift card so we could have like a little coffee e-date. And I thought that was so cute and creative, but it's for a ma possible management. So I'm about to start my meeting right now. I use this candle for my phone to stay on. Is that gonna work? I need something else. Hold on. I just finished my Zoom meeting. It went so good. I wanna cry only because I just want anyone to know that's watching this, like male or female, you will overcome the stuff you're going through. Like, and don't ever think that one person is your whole life. Like, you have so much going for yourself. So much to look forward to in your own life so much you could do don't ever let any man or woman make you feel like you can't succeed without them like the fact that I'm even crying on camera y'all I've never cried on camera ever I don't even cry like I don't even cry but lately I've just been going through like a healing phase and not even like a sad healing phase like a happy healing phase and I've just been realizing so much learning so much about myself I've just had more motivation, more drive, like, even me being vulnerable right now on camera is crazy. Like, I never in a million, years thought, a million years thought I would be crying or talking about this or showing this side of me on camera. Um, but I don't know why just getting off this call made me cry. It wasn't even, like, about the call. Like, it was a great conversation. Loved the lady. Probably will be working with her, and we're going to have more conversations. It was more so, like... We touched on a few personal things, and I just, I can see the improvement in myself, and she just told me, like, I would love to work with you, you have just so much drive, and blah, 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 and I was like, that triggered me a little, because I'm like, I didn't, like, I was so unmotivated, I didn't even want to get out of bed some days, I was slacking in all areas, just not even taking my content seriously, and that's what makes me money, so it's like, if I'm not doing that, I feel like I'm failing at life, you know? And I'm just really rediscovering myself and learning so much. Things I want to do, things I want to change, other career paths I want to get into. I actually even have a friend, a guy that is going through a breakup and he feels like it's the end of the world. He's such a successful, well-rounded guy. I'm like, you have so much to be happy for on your own. Like, you are the prize. Don't ever let someone else feel like you're nothing without them or that without them, you're never going to be happy again or never going to succeed or reach your goals. Like, I am just feeling so much better. I have so many things I want to do, get into, and I just can't wait till everything comes into, like, that was crazy that I just cried. I'm going to finish my little coffee. I'm actually, that meeting was way longer than I thought, but it was worth it. It was a great conversation. We covered, like, all areas. It started at 11, it's 11.56, so I think I'm about to get in the shower really quick, start getting ready. I have a little thing I need to film, and then I have another meeting at one, and then I'm gonna go to a museum. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna get that going. I'll check in with you guys, but that's how my morning's been, so. Wait, this is from Groundwork Coffee, and it's called, I love matcha. It's iced matcha latte with oat milk, and it has like cinnamon, something else in it so it's delicious hey guys so it's later on i got ready for the day i've just had a lot to do so i've been a little anxious um i had to film this like promo thing and now we're about to go to a museum so i'm gonna film the rest on my phone but la is here and this is what i'm wearing today i'm gonna show y'all in the mirror really quick before we go because then i'm gonna switch to my phone so this is a dress i tried to wear it last night and i just didn't get good pictures so we're gonna try this again. Um, it's from House of CB. I packed it for Europe and never got to wear it. So it needs to get worn before it's officially cold season. And I'm gonna wear some heels with it in a bag, but I'll finish the day on my phone because I can't bring this camera and my other camera. It's just too much, but yeah. Also haven't ate all day, which is rare for me now because the way I also gained weight is I've been eating more balanced. So like in the morning, I'll make sure I have oatmeal or something, but I just didn't have time. So I'm gonna just take my vitamins and I'm drinking this, which I got the other day from Creation. It's a strawberry apple water, apple coconut water. 
yeah it's not like a shake but it's just like a juice just something and then i'm sure we'll grab food i have a workout later but i don't think i'm gonna make that because it's already about to be three yeah it's just not enough time in the day so i'll see y'all when we leave hey guys <laughs> so we're at the museum i've been like multitasking because i had a promo video i had to film today so i was trying to do that but now i'm like i'm just gonna have to pick a different day because it was just too much i couldn't focus and i feel like i was getting rude so we're in the museum um you're gonna see like a montage of clips <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what I've been doing. I was chilling on the couch for a while and then I was like, all right, I'm hungry. I had chicken defrosting. This is all the nasty fat I just cut from the chicken. Some leftover sizzling and um, obviously a lemon from when I cleaned the chicken. By the way, save your lemons and put them in there and that's like a, it'll make it smell good and clean out your garbage disposal. So I seasoned my chicken. I'm making um like, a peri 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 chicken similar to nando's if you've ever been there because i got the seasoning so i'm letting it marinate in the fridge let me show y'all the seasoning so i ordered this from amazon the nando's peri peri sauce and then the salt which would be good for some fries but i actually don't have fries right now so i'm gonna make rice and beans and while that is just defrosting i'm gonna just clean up all of this i gotta wash my air fryer from earlier. I might honestly use some foil to make the chicken today so that th that doesn't get dirty. But I'm going to wash this, clean that up, wash the dishes, um, straighten up over here. And then by the time I do that, I feel like it would have been in the fridge for probably like 30 minutes or so. And then I'm going to cook. I have these flowers. I'm not going to show you off the note. And they're dying already because they're real flowers. But um, look how cute. I've had it for like a week now. Pretty. I made some beans. I put like sazon seasonings. I put tomato sauce. The Goya tomato sauce, by the way. If you know, you know. And then I'm making the chicken in here. I've never cooked it with foil, so I just flipped it. I hope it doesn't come out like too dry. I'm not too sure. But I made salmon in foil here the other day, and it came out really good. So, and then I have this rice packet from Trader Joe's. This is one thing I'm not about to do, y'all, is make some rice, because this is supposed to be a semi-quick meal. So this from Trader Joe's, just organic jasmine rice. You warm it up for three minutes. See, I'm just waiting so that it's like fresh. Um, yeah. I'm just getting it ready. And then my food's gonna be done. I'll show y'all after I plate it. I'm watching this little like yachty podcast thing it's kind of funny so it is 10 11 also i don't advise you eating this late but like i said i'm on a games journey so i don't mind you know um yeah this is my food yum 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 hey guys so it's another chaotic day it's actually the afternoon it's not the morning i have not been on my early wake ups lately because I was going out for a while like the last week and I think it just completely threw me off my schedule to where I'm super tired now when I wake up. I've been scheduling like afternoon or evening workout classes. So before I get in the car, this is my outfit of the day. I have on just my sneakers because I'm going to be doing Bunda instead of, um, instead of Pilates today. I like to switch it in between the week um, and then have this bag underneath is gonna is like packages I need to ship from my Depop and then I have something for the dry cleaners. I have some oatmeal to go because I didn't have time to eat it and I need to eat before workouts like or else I just feel miserable. And then my giant thing of water. I'm gonna just head there, I'm gonna eat while I'm on the way and I actually have like 
errands to run after and just different work things I have to do, like things I have to email people and stuff like that. So we have a very late start to the day, but better late than never, okay? As long as you're productive, I feel like it don't matter what time you get up. I work better later, but I need to get back on my morning stuff because when I was looking up early, y'all, I just felt so productive. Like I had the world at my fingertips, so let's go. This is my oatmeal, it's in this little Tupperware I think I got from like TJ Maxx and I gotta get my tires checked. For all the girlies that wake up, have a balanced breakfast, get out the door by 7 a.m. I can't, I woke up at eight, I was on the phone with a friend, then I went back to sleep, laid in bed till 11, 30, 12, then I got up, then I was just lollygagging. So yeah, my oatmeal is to go, but I'm, I'm trying to at least eat something and then at least I'm working out. Okay, you don't always have to get up at the crack of dawn to be productive, y'all. So, and I'm driving, so yeah. Hey, y'all, so I didn't even film because I was a few minutes late to the class, so I just went in and went straight to it. I didn't record anything, but as you can see, honestly, this was a full shirt. Oh my God, even under my arm. That is so embarrassing. I sweat a lot when I work out because I go hard. I'm not naturally like a sweaty person, but when I work out, I be sweating, so. Yeah, I'm just sitting here, I just put the air on full blast. I just paid like $35 for a plate from Irwan. I didn't like it and now I really want to go get something unhealthy, but I'm not. I'm just going to wait and I got this smoothie. So hopefully this holds me over until I get hungry again later. But yeah, that was kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna stop buying food from there because I never like it, I'm gonna be honest. And I've had good healthy food, but that one just isn't. What I got today maybe just wasn't good. Hey guys, so I look cray cray because I'm cleaning. So today I didn't really record at all. I woke up, ooh, I need a tan. Let's go back in here. I woke up, I had breakfast, just some oatmeal. I went straight to Pilates and after Pilates, I took some stuff to the dry cleaner and picked some stuff up. And then I came back home and I was supposed to go to lunch with someone, but yeah, they postponed. So, just a friend, but like they ended up telling me it's gonna have to be later and I was too hungry. So I made myself some lunch. I had a turkey burger and a salad. And then I was like, I could either edit some videos. I already edited two last night, so I'm proud. Um, or I can do my purge. So I started my purge, which is all my clothes and some things are gonna be just straight to Goodwill or donation sites and then I'm gonna also sell some, like my nicer items I'm gonna post on Depop, but I have to spend a day doing that, taking pictures, cause it's so many things. Like this is an extensive clean out and I'm just letting shit go that I normally don't wanna let go. This is so far in my main closet y'all and there's bags all under here and I have to go through and decide what I'm selling. I also told my friends they could come look through things and have first dibs, but obviously certain items I'm gonna sell because I have some expensive stuff. Now, you're not ready for this, but look how crazy this room is. So this pile is stuff I'm gonna try to post pictures in and sell, cause most of them are like pretty good items. Some of these too, and then a lot of these I'm just gonna give away. Those are things I need to try on because I don't know if they fit me and if they fit me, I'm keeping them. If they don't, they're gonna be given away because my butt got bigger and I can't fit a lot of stuff, y'all. So this is how I'm looking right now. Uh, it's backlit so you can't see me, but yeah. So I'm gonna finish just going through my other closet and then I'm going to start putting things in bags that I know are gonna go straight to Goodwill and then just leave everything else in a pile and a day this week I'm gonna spend posting and taking pictures in it like just I'm just gonna do some mirror selfies in them because I know y'all be wanting to see me in it and I don't have pictures in everything that I want to sell so I'm gonna take time to do that because um, I'm getting a facial tomorrow my face is really backed up like I don't even want to give y'all a close-up but I have a lot of just like deep blackheads and like I need my pores to be cleaned out and then Thursday I'm getting my ear fixed you could see that my ear piercing is ripped it's like a tiny little piece of skin that looks disgusting I'm sorry but I'm gonna record probably me getting that done so we're doing that on Thursday and it's Tuesday right now 
So I'm gonna finish just going through, like I'm just looking through the rest of this. I've already cleared a lot of space because stuff was stuffed. And honestly, there's probably more that I could give away, but I'm a hoarder. There's just certain things I'd be feeling like, well, I could wear that one day. Style has just changed. I'm a lot more conservative, modest now. So a lot of little tight outfits and little hoish thingies, which they're cute. They had a time. I just know I'm not going to wear it anymore, so someone else can. After I take care of all the clothes, I'm probably going to sit down and edit again. I'm also hungry a little bit, so I might make a snack or I have like some green juice in the fridge. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Like stuff like this, I just don't be knowing if I want to keep it. I feel like I could wear this with some pants, so I'm going to keep this. So I've made a lot of progress. I'm going to show y'all in a second um, the progress that I've made. But I got hungry and I bought groceries the other day. So I don't know why I did this. I just let my mind influence me. And I ordered Wingstop. I got all flats, lemon pepper, and hot. And I said no drink and they gave me a Sprite. It's like they're trying to test me. But I'm going to stick with my water and throw the Sprite away. I don't drink soda, but I do like Sprite. And it should have been free because I put no drink. So, not to watch a YouTube video, Diara. I'm done with this. I'm going to finish up organizing the clothes that I was organizing. And then, I need to film a sponsored lounge video, but that requires me to put on makeup. But then again, I'm going to have to do my night routine anyways. So, I think I'm just going to do it. I wanted to do it in the daylight, but it's getting dark. So I'll probably just use my ring light because I just want to knock that out. I'm going to get a facial tomorrow and then my ear is going to get fixed. So I'm going to be looking raggedy and I'm definitely not going to want to put on makeup or film. So I might as well just knock it out, right? That would be the responsible thing to do. All right, so I'm back and you can see I have my makeup done. I just filmed my lounge room. It was in lingerie, so I wasn't about to show that to y'all. But I filmed it like, where is it? On this wall, I moved the lamp and then I have my ring light and tripod so i just filmed a reel i didn't do like foundation but i just did an extra blush some mascara on my bottom lashes a little bronzer and some concealer um because i wasn't about to do a full face for a three second video no and i even had a ponytail in y'all i didn't even show you guys because i was just so not in the mood to do it that i was like you either about to do this or you're not and I had to just do it. I couldn't like do the extras. But I wanted to show you guys my progress. This pile is stuff that I'm just gonna give away. It's just not worth me selling. And I had to take pictures of these shoes. This is all stuff that I wanna put on my Depop. I either already have photos in it like on Instagram or it's stuff that needs pictures taken of. Um, these need to be folded and put away. These I think I'm gonna keep. Um, some of these things on the chair just needs to be put away. It was like for my dry cleaning. And then all of these I need to try on. That I'm gonna sew. Didn't I've never won that. And yeah, this bag's also to give away. So that is what we've done so far in this room. Also, I'm about to order something for all my boots because as you can see, I have no space. And even if I did add more of these right here, because there's room for that, and I don't need that lamp. Um, they're not going to fit all these boots. So I went on Amazon, y'all, and I found some boot storage organizers. And I'm going to order some and test those out. And I could either put them, like, here, some in that corner. I can rearrange some things because it's just looking crazy and cluttered. And we got to do something, okay? If you have any suggestions, also let me know. But all of these shoes are boots. They're all chunky boots that cannot fit in there. I'm also going to give some away. Like, I think, like, these, like, there's a few that I don't see myself wearing. I even have shoes all back there. So, yeah, we got to do something. So, I just took off my makeup, and I'm about to have a little treat celebration gelato. Let's see what this is hitting for. Yum. Excited to try. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, Trader Joe's. What the? Y'all, this is so good. 
Oh my god. And there's like a gelato. More so if you didn't know. Gelato is made with milk and ice cream is made with um something else. I don't know. Mm. Cream. This is good as hell. Mm. It does have dairy in it, but it's okay every now and then. I don't eat dairy that much. Hey guys, so I just came from Pilates and I'm really sweaty and gross. But before I got in the shower, I wanted to open these packages on camera. Also, I'm still going through with my facial. I just have like marks, but they're getting dry and like, I feel like they're going to peel off or something. It was from the extractions and she told me that by next week it should get better. So I'm trying to trust the process because these were marks I didn't have before. Like this is all from the extractions, but it was done by like a dermatologist. So she knows what she's doing and I trust her. I just don't like how I look in the process, right? But I have so many packages, all of these packages. So I'm going to open them up. I know what a few are. I ordered like some fall stuff and then I got a, every year I do my little fashion of a, Halloween try on haul so one of the packages is that for sure this one oh and I have two more here this one is from in route, in route jewelry this is a necklace it like hangs down I thought it was pretty so it like hang down I don't have any like simple well not that I don't have any I needed more like simple dainty necklaces so this will be cute to layer that was the point it was for layering and I don't remember what else I got. I feel like I got more than this. Maybe it comes in a little pouch. That cross necklace I always wear is from here, by the way. Oh, I got a bracelet. Why does this look so little? Like, this looks like for a baby. Whoa. Hopefully. I mean, let me see. Okay. I was like, whoa. But this is the bracelet. I'm not even going to bother showing y'all. Well, I guess I really quickly could. Because I might wear one for Halloween. But honestly, I don't know. Because I kind of want to be. I'm not going to tell you what I might be. But I have an idea of what I want to be. But it's something that I have to just get this up myself. So, spread on one. Got this. Little workout girl one. So try on haul coming soon. Oop. So this is the brand. They have really good cookware. Like very expensive. Oh, this one says chicken fryer. Ooh, that might make me want to fry some chicken. So how do we open this? Do I even want to fully open this? It was very heavy. This was like a pain to get out of my package locker. I had to have someone come help me because they stuffed it in there, y'all, and I couldn't get it out. Like this. Ooh, I thought I was about to drop this. Okay, comes in a pouch. So yeah, this is supposed to be. Oh, oh my god! I do Pilates. I cannot be fucking up my feet. Oh. Wow, that really fucking hurt. Be careful when you're opening packages. I had to take a breather. I want to be done now. That really just killed my whole vibe. Okay, anyways. This is the chicken fryer. And I like that it has like a grippish bottom. This is the one that freaking hit me. Pissed. I don't even know what this one was supposed to be. Oh my god, I'm getting a mark on my foot now. It's forming. That's just great. Um, oh, this is the cover for it. That's it. They did send me, I think, other items. I don't know if it's in one of the packages I have or if it's coming. But it's supposed to be a chicken fryer. Oh, this is from House of TV. So there's some pants they sent me and they sent me the wrong size because I got the receipt like in my email. So I have to figure out, I know they're not going to fit me. I've gained weight and it was extra small. I need a small at least, maybe even a medium. So I'm going to have to contest them because I'm not going to wear it and what a waste, you know? So I'll 
show you the stuff that I got anyway. So this is a dress. It's like a backless dress, I think. Ooh, so sexy. A long backless dress. I love this. I think it's just simple, classy, sexy. And I'm excited. So that is one. Then these are the pants that I know I'm gonna need. Oops. No one's out of. Unfortunately though, because they're so cute. I'll try them on, but I'm almost positive. Like, they're small. I mean, they're extra small. These are so cute though, I'm annoyed because, ugh, just having to switch them out might be annoying. Yeah, I don't think these are gonna fit me. We're gonna try them on, but I just don't see it happening. So let's be positive, because if they do, that'll be a great surprise. And then this is a dress. Um, it is called, Dominique Spruce Blue. Okay. I'm all sweaty or else I would have tried these on for y'all, but I just, I gotta take a shower. I just thought I'd do an unboxing. This is a really cute dress. It has like a cinched waist and all that. I love baby doll dresses. I think it's cute. I actually love their packaging. Real cute. Maybe in this vlog, I'll try these things on for you. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna rip these open. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a mess. Okay. Oh, perfect. So, any of these, if they're a little big, I can get them altered. I just didn't want them to be too small. But I think I got everything in a size small. Did I? Yeah. This is a skirt. I thought this would be good just for a fall outfit. It's like a leather skirt and it has a slit on the back. Right here. Then we have gosh, making a mess. I don't care though. This is the easiest way for me to do this. Then we have another skirt with another slit. This is just a gray color in that but that or bleh, but this one I got to match a top so I'm gonna show y'all I think this should be the top no Isn't it? I don't know I definitely got that to match anything it might be in the other package oh <gasps> no wait a second y'all what the fuck I think they sent me two of the same thing by accident let me look at my receipt Y'all, why did I pay for one of the skirts twice? I'm definitely returning this. This was the little cropped blazer top to go with the skirt, the gray maxi skirt. I'm gonna have to figure out if I'm gonna return that other skirt or sell it, because I ordered two, like why? Then I got this little sweater, and then this was the brown maxi dress, and it like folds over, so. That was that. My battery's about to die. I'm about to go take a shower, clean all of this up, and yeah, I'm in the middle of processing a video that I need to save as unlisted for next week. This is the freaking mess remaining. I'm about to clean up, but I didn't get to show you. I had another package from Hexside. This might be Gordon Ramsay's line because there's a note from him. A good chef is only as good as their knives, so I think it might be his line. Um, but they also gave me this, and then this is a knife a cutting knife whatever so yeah that was cute inspired me to cook and they all came with these bags that i'm gonna save for whenever i move can just you know put them back in there so i just cleaned my kitchen y'all and these are hot chocolate melts from trader joe's i just warmed up some milk i don't like it super hot so it's not that hot let me see honestly it could be hotter hold up i'm gonna warm this up a little bit longer right, so I warmed it up a little longer, which please. Oops. So, these are the hot chocolate melts. Let me try to record this also.
I don't know what I expected, but it's just a pumpkin in here. How cute, little marshmallows come out of it. Like how freaking cute. All right, then we have our Ready Whip. I do usually get like a dairy free one, like a coconut milk one or oat milk, but I don't have it this time. Yum! And then if I had like some sprinkles, that would've been cute, but adorable. Hey y'all, so I did not vlog while I was in the grocery store and all that. It was so chaotic. I probably picked the worst time to go to Trader Joe's. On a college campus, so you can already imagine, it's a Sunday, it's evening, like flooded with students. I got this fall drink. It was, oh, it doesn't have it on here, if I can remember though. It's like the pu iced pumpkin spice chai. Iced pumpkin spice chai latte. And I get oat milk and then it tastes like, a fall drink like it tastes like fall in a cup let's do a mini haul i was just very inspired by the fall time so i got some apple cider donuts organic fall zucchetti pasta is that how you say it? butter not squash i don't know it's pasta so i feel like it'll be good what does it say yeah i'm gonna make this in a minute though oh this was a mix from target as well i got this pumpkin candle it's the heritage pumpkin it smells like cinnamon and pumpkin Mm. I saw this from TikTok. We're gonna try these later too. It's the cinnamon roll drizzled granola. I'll just try it by itself. It's good. Definitely yummy. More almond milk. One of my favorite dressings. I was running out. Wait a second, y'all. That was really good. The more I indulged it, mm. we've got some cheese. This is really boring. Just like refills. These are some of my favorite little sweet treats. Dark chocolate covered cherries in the fridge, cold. So good. These like damn near every day. The green juice. Because I don't, I don't eat a lot of fruit. I do eat greens more than fruit though because I have salads and spinach. I don't eat a lot of fruit. And this is... Banana, mango, kiwi, apple, pineapple juice, green foods, 100%. I don't know if you've seen on TikTok, everyone's making, or the girls are making, the girls, the mag, the little bedtime mocktails with magnesium. They use like a powder. I couldn't find that. I have to order it. So for now, I'm going to just break open one of my magnesium capsules that I already usually take at night. They use like the ginger lemon usually, but this one's ginger lemon. This one this cherry juice and cherry juice is supposed to be something that helps you go to sleep as well and i'm excited because i've been having trouble going to sleep lately um and then what else is in there the magnesium cherry juice the probiotic sparkling drink i think i might add some collagen i heard people saying that they were adding collagen and then they add like a garnish i don't have any fruit garnishes i'm gonna have to order that but this if i like it i'll make this frequently i got two coconut oils because i do coconut pills pulls every day and I've been out so for the last couple days I haven't done it and coconut oil is just good I like using this for so many things and then some cheese for my pasta so we got our pasta and um some sauce cooking so I used the tomato basil the creamy tomato basil from Trader Joe's added a bunch of seasonings I'm gonna stir it more I just have it on low heat some oil then I put a little seasoned salt in here first in the water you don't have to do that i just like to and i'm about to test one of these in a few more minutes but yeah all right steamy so let's see yeah it's good i didn't make it with meat or nothing so i mean it's not a lot going on aside from the seasoning and the sauce but and I added some cheese in the sauce. Yeah, it's good. It's just some regular pasta. It's flavored. Alright, so I just ate some food. I wanted to just try on some of the clothes. This is from Naked Wardrobe. I'm not really sure. I have to look back at the photo, like how you're supposed to do this. So I'm not going to have it perfect. Leather skirt, it goes down to the bottom. I don't think you can see, but it's like a slit. 
it's pretty cute i just don't really know where i would wear this i'd be buying things and not knowing where i'm wearing these things too like i guess this would have to be dinner yeah little dinner dinner date vibes or even just with my friends i could wear this but it has to be colder because it's still too hot in la so this is another dress or not another this is a dress um see-through i'm not wearing the right undergarments and my boobies are out but it's from naked wardrobe i don't know this would have to be like dinner or something too because it's long like where do i think i'm going with this stuff i would love to know i just thought they were cute and like fall vibes modest even though this is see-through it could still be modest because i'm gonna wear pasties and the right you know underwear so i just messed up my hair trying to put this on but it's just a little cropped sweater i didn't put any pants on with it it's cute i don't know i could wear this with any kind of bottoms and jeans whatever so this is the top i know not everyone likes turtlenecks but i like turtlenecks and i think once it gets even colder this will be cute so all right so the two other items i got from house of cb did not fit me um but this is the dress that did fit me it's an extra small this is the reason i picked this out it's because of the back the front is very plain i'm not really sure how it's stylist stylist um some cute shoes or boots and then some earrings probably here slicked up or out the way but yeah I'm gonna make a mocktail to go to bed and the ingredients is cherry juice one of these probiotic drinks I'm gonna add some collagen and I'm gonna add um, some magnesium I don't have the powder one everyone's using so I'm gonna use the pills and I'm just gonna break this open but cherry juice is also supposed to be something that puts you to sleep so let's get started um, I like the Olipop brand, y'all, but they didn't have that. I got, like, the lemon lime, but I'm going to try the ginger lemon. Let's see. So, let me rinse out this glass first. I don't know. Oh, shit. So, I want to add a little bit of collagen, y'all, because like it would hit but first we're gonna do the magnesium because I feel like that's most important people use like the berry flavored magnesium though so I don't know it might taste better than this one no idea how this is gonna taste cheers this is the ultimate in sophisticated French fare meeting your lover and his ex-wife I'm fashionably late and Alec is very fashionable